What is happening with Astro Swap? Why is it not mooning? Is the Dex working, the liquidity, everything else. Well, today we're going to do a high level business overview and to see from a context of fundamentals and technicals and what we should anticipate coming next. If you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you don't know me by now, my name is Jigam, I'm the award winning author of the Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro. Been featured in the best selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008, where I only used to focus on currencies, but now exclusive on cryptocurrencies. So let's dive straight in. So, this is some baseline foundation knowledge. So, first of all, just all companies, all businesses start off as a baby, as a seed, as a young company. So, I've drawn this chart here, which is market cap on the left and business growth in terms of time. Um, you know, what's the journey of a company getting to a billion dollar market cap, whether it's a cryptocurrency project or a non-crypto project? But again, we're looking at Astro, we're going to do a few comparisons here. So I found companies always start as seeds, there's something called a seed round, where it's doing this initial uh, investing or um, fundraising, and then they go public and everything else. So IDO with Astro happened in October last year. And with seeds, there tend to be young market caps, right? Less than 10 million, less than 1 million, less than $100,000 at some point. But the potential for growth is huge, right? So a 10 million market cap going to a billion dollar market cap is a 100x, right? But with a young seed, less has been proven. The, the roots are not as deep and it hasn't sprouted yet to really, really form the value that it's going to bring to the world. So there's always more risk the younger the project. And then it sprouts. The project sprouts. So let's just say it grows to a market cap of 50 million. Now there's less risk because they've got more customers, more proof of concept, and so on and so forth. But the upside potential is still high, but less. So going from a 50 million market cap to a billion dollar market cap is a 20x, 2,000%. Again, when a company grows, less risk, there's more fundamentals in play, there's more customers, there's more revenue, and so on and so forth. Less risk, but also less reward, but it's still very, very healthy. And then I always envision companies, young companies, from IDO to getting to a giant oak tree, seed to giant oak tree. And what's the journey? Well, when, once they're a giant oak tree, when they're well established, I kind of like to think of the traditional companies, Amazon, Facebook, Netflix, the ones that we are used to, we like them, we trust them. And in crypto, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, these are like giant oak trees. But the upside potential then also decreases because they're younger, sorry, they're, they're more mature. So the upside potential is less. So when I'm looking at this and I'm thinking of AstroSwap, AstroSwap, what I'm thinking is, down in the bottom left, you know, it's young. It's like three months young. Like he only did his IDO for what feels like yesterday in October. And it only launched his decks weeks ago. So I like to compare AstroSwap to PancakeSwap, which has been around for over a year. It's been a year and three months, I think now, with PancakeSwap since it listed its token versus Astro. So first things first, let's get context, let's get perspective because the questions that I get people asking is they're not getting the context of business growth and a company, a company just like a like a child going through adolescence, going through, you know, hormonal changes and everything else, there's a growth phase. So Astro is far on the left, more towards seed, and Pancake Swap is much more further to the right, giant oak tree. Very, very, very important. So then when we look at Pancake Swap, you look at their LP farms, their liquidity pool farms, and you can see they're much more mature because the APRs and the APYs are much less. Like if you stake cake token which is the pancake swap token with paired with bnb the apr is 37 percent bnb with busd which is one of the most popular peers is 21 percent apr that means that's the that's the reward that you're going to get in cake tokens for providing this liquidity <clears throat> one of the higher ones was like gear gear is like a less known token it's 190 percent apr so you, you stake these LP pairs and then you get rewards in cake token. So now let's just compare that to AstroSwap because they're in a very different part of growth. One seed very, very young and one's very, very mature, right? And then we want to want to take that into account. So PancakeSwap's got many pairs, many liquidity pool pairs. AstroSwap's been a few weeks young in terms of mainnet. They've got three pairs, but look at the APRs and the APYs. So they are much higher. Why? Because it's marketing. It's literally saying, hey, when you come and check us out, provide some liquidity, and we're going to give you some more attractive rewards. So you'll stake these LP pairs and then get rewarded in Astro. So when we do a direct comparison, there's pros and cons. Obviously, less risk with pancake swap, but look at the APRs 37% versus 600, 200, and 250%. Then we've got farms, right? Farms. So that's, sorry, the single pools, single staking pools, right? 
in pancakes, what they call them, syrup pools. And, you know, when you auto cake, which means it does APY for you, it, it compounds for you. So when you get your cake tokens, it reinvests them, it restakes them for you once a day and every day or multiple times a day. But look at the APY. APY takes into consideration compounding. It's 62%. And you can also, you'll see, stake something else. So sorry, sorry, stake cake to earn something else. So here is one of the most popular ones at the moment is you'll stake the cake token and earn S fund tokens, right? Stake cake and get S fund tokens. This is important because this is one of the main utilities of the DEX is where you go, okay, I've got loads of cake tokens. What can I do with them? Well, you can earn some S fund tokens by staking cake and earn S fund. And that's very, very good for the tokenomics. With Galaxy Pools, which is a single staking pool for Astro, again, remember they're younger, much younger, much, you know, we're talking about weeks. Stake Astro to get Astro, but look at the APYs. Look at the APYs, it's 26,000%. Why? Because it's younger, it's still in its early phase and saying, look, we know we've got less liquidity, we know we've got less customers, so we're going to offer you stupendous APYs and APRs to come check us out, stake some of your tokens, check us out. If you like the DEX, it's fast, it's cheap, you know, and it's based around Cardano. Valus is a layer two solution for the Cardano DEX. This is a Cardano DEX. But then you look at Stake Astro. So one of their first ones, which we saw with like S Fund, here is Stake Astro to earn Cardano tokens. So they've got a two week pool. I think it's one week in now, you know, Stake Astro and earn Cardano. But look at the APRs, it's 537%, which is much higher. Again, Auto Cake is 62%. Auto Astro is 26,000%. Right? You see the difference? Yeah, massive difference. But it's because of the stage of growth. PancakeSwap would have done a version of this when they first launched just to attract liquidity away from Uniswap was the main competitor then. So it's like, look, check us out, Uniswap guys. Check us out. Check us out. We're cheaper. We're faster. And so on and so forth. Now, Astro is doing the same in its own way, which is pretty much a standard model. And then, earn stake Astro to earn Cardano. Or stake cake to earn S fund tokens, but look at the APR. Here it's 50%. Here it's 530%. Yeah, you see the difference? So this is one of the reasons why it's likely that these DEXs, younger DEXs, especially when they've got a good ecosystem. Another thing that I forgot to mention that I didn't point in today is Astro is also partnered with Adapad. And so when Adapad is launch pad, so it's gonna be launching new Cardano projects, and they're gonna be launching on the AstroSwap DEX, the AstroSwap DEX. So what I want to look at next is the price, right? Price. Okay, cake. Pancake swap. Now, if you know, if you've been watching my content, you know I do a lot of Elliott Wave and Fibonacci stuff. I can read the market like a pro. You know, when the market moves up, it typically does a correction. This is not a standard correction. It's like a drawn out complex wave two correction. But if we do a standard wave three projection, which is 1.618, this is the number, which most, the next leg is a typical wave three zone. If we do that for cake, and we say, what's the price target? Well, the price target for cake, if I can get it up, is $75, right? From today's price, which is around $8, $8.32 to $75, that's a 9X, it's a 9X. Really, really important. We're just looking from a price appreciation standpoint. If the market does what it normally does, this is the typical next price target that we should anticipate over the coming months, over the coming months, especially with Bitcoin looking to make its reversal. And by the way, you should know how to do this by now if you've been watching my content. If you don't, this is how I do it. I have a course, it's called Fibonacci and Elliott Wave. It literally breaks it down. And there's a lesson called Fibonacci Price Extension. And what I cover in the lesson is the relationship between wave one and wave three. And you'll see this 1.618 or 162% ratio which is called the golden mean and i use it over and over again i got a stupendous offer right now is the elliott fibonacci course it's usually 997 i'm doing it for 97 pounds for a limited time 90 percent off it is we're getting phenomenal feedback from you guys which is great i love it i love it I love it but rather than buying the course you can actually take my free elliott wave and fibonacci masterclass, which really covers the high level stuff gives you a real flavor for what the course is and if you like it you go look 97 pounds is worth sharpening your axe because we're going to see these patterns unfold time and time again. But now we're, that we're looking at Astro Swap, it's not a similar thing. You know, from its IDO in October, it did like a 500x, it like did a nice move to the upside, a correction, and it's made a, a lower low over here. But again, wave two, if it does end up down here, what's the price target? Well, if I just measure this wave one in the same way that we do do pancake swap and project it from wave two, 1.618, that's what we're talking about. What's the wave three price target? It's actually 84 cents or that range. 
So that means 0 0.06, which is roughly today's price, to 84 cents is actually a 14x, 14x. So now we've got a bit of a case study and hopefully you're getting the thinking of Astro is more towards seed, like it's young. Pancake Swap is much more mature, much more mature. Even though both are relatively young because Pancake Swap's only 15 months versus Astro is weeks in terms of since its launch, um, in terms of mainnet. And since its token launch was, yeah, three months. It was three months and then it's been building. So let's just summarize, right? So we've got farms. So these are the LP tokens. Cake, much more mature, much more liquidity and many more farm pairs. So when you go onto Pancake Swap, you'll see that there's loads of pairs, loads of pairs and there's been loads of pairs in the past as well. So there's lots of liquidity. But you'll also notice that the APRs are much less, much, much less, naturally so. And that's with all DEXs that are more mature. AstroSwap have less farms, less, less liquidity, and they're going to have more and more coming. But for that reason, the APRs and the APYs are much higher. Like you were talking 5, 10, 20 times higher, right? If you just do a direct compare, like for like. Then you've got single staking pools, right? So it's not the liquidity pairs, it's just single staking. Stake one coin to get another. You know, stake Astro to get Cardano tokens and so on and so forth. Again, similar thing. So one of the utilities of the tokens is just stake cake and earn cake. You know, stake cake, earn cake, and there's the auto compounding function, 62%. With Astro, stake Astro and earn Astro, well, it's 26,000%. I don't even know, what, what's that in difference? We'll might have to pull up a calculator. We'll pull up a calculator. I'm curious. Should we do it? Let me do it. Let's do it. Calculator. Let's see if I can, let's see if it pops up. Yes, it does. Brilliant. All right, let's do it. To get, oh, maybe it doesn't like it that way. I'll, I'll do it at the end. I'll do it at the end. I'll pop it up at the end. Um, I, I would like to know the difference. Should we just do it now? I'm, 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 I'm intrigued. Let me just do it now. I'll come back to that slide in a second. Uh, so we said, was it 26,000%? 26,000 divided by, what did we say? We said it was 60, 62%. Right, 62% divided by 62 so the APY for Astro is just 400 times greater. Now, do, do note, do note that these um, APRs and APYs are changing on all DEXs day by day, depending on how many people are staking at that moment in time and what's happening. So sometimes it's higher, 40,000, sometimes it's lower. Same as cake, sometimes it's 50%, sometimes it's 20%, sometimes it's 60%, and so on and so forth. So we get a comparison, right? So the main thing I want to get across here is with the younger DEXs, the APRs and APYs are naturally going to be higher. Um, but again, that will balance out as time goes on. And the offer that Astro's got at the moment is stake Astro and earn Cardano tokens. And one of the main ones that Pan Pancake's got is stake Pancake Swap tokens, cake tokens, and earn S fund tokens. And then last but not least, just the price. Let's just say both which they have moved up and correction. Pancake Swap is more of a longer correction because it's been around for longer. And then Astro Swap is more recent, more recent. If it does hit that 1.618, which is that wave three, you know, you know, do take my free fairly, fairly wave and Fibonacci masterclass because these patterns do unfold time and time again. And you can tell it, it's different, but you can see the similarity, the correction, the profit taking, they're both deep corrections. But if it does hit, one's a 9x and one's a 14x. So when I'm thinking about the business plan, when I'm looking at this, when I'm looking at this, I go, my personal risk tolerance and risk strategy leans towards the left, leans towards Astro. Why? Because the upside potential is higher. It's a younger DEX, but the APYs and the APRs are just much, much higher. So where you might get an extra 5, 10, 15% over a six-month period with Pancake Swap in terms of your APRs, with Astro Swap, you can double, triple, quadruple your tokens whilst it's in this growth phase, this early phase, this higher risk phase. So there you have it. There's my take on Astro Swap. I've been seeing your questions, reading your questions. I'm like, actually, do you know, do you know what? Let me just do a deep dive but really do a macro business thesis, you know, how business just operates. Seed, you know, it goes from angel investing, seed rounds, private rounds, seed rounds, you know, now we with crypto is IDO, which is more public, and then it gets listed, and then it goes through another growth phase, ups and downs, and then the market expands and contracts, next growth phase, and in Elliott Wave terms, it's a wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five, then tends to a bigger correction, and then it rinses and repeats. So let me know what you think about today's content. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. We're growing this channel. I want to bring more and more value to you. I want to read a quote. Let's finish today with a quote. It is, the name of the chapter is actually from my book. It's called Don't Buy Into Your Circumstances. And it's Benjamin Franklin. 
He who is good for making excuses is seldom good for anything else. So be mindful of your own words. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes it's hard to take a loss or a drawdown and everything else. But at the end of the day, that's the game we're playing, right? And it's, it's important to understand the game that you're playing because these are the rules. And I know with my personal expectation for the Astro Swap launch was that way <laughs> and it went that way. But that doesn't change the very fact and the fundamentals is a Cardano deck built on a layer two solution of Valas, which makes it easy to do simple swaps and fast swaps. But also knowing that young projects, like a young child, like a young baby has to grow. You know, the bones have to grow, the maturity has to, you know, the language and the customers and everything else has to come over time. And then it's going to be phases and phases and phases. So Rome weren't built in a day and you have to be patient with that, especially if you're getting into younger projects because you can't compare a young project like a baby to an adult because there's two very different worlds. But the risks are also very different and the upside potential are also very different. And it's your job to know that difference because if you're measuring them with the same yardstick, with the same expectations, then you're going to be in for disappointment. Whereas if you can stand back and go, it's a new team, they're solving meaningful problems, here's the problem, they're doing it for, you know, they're doing it in this particular way, in this fashion, and there's going to be ups and downs. And if you support the project and it works out, you do really, really well, but they don't always work out, but it's always probabilities and never certainty. So today, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, take my free Elliott Wave and Fibonacci masterclass. Like literally, it breaks the psychology of the markets down and it applies to most cryptos very, very well. And we're going to use that time and time again over the coming months. All right, I'll see you very soon.